So I'm running a little late. It's no problem. Billy's not here yet. Ed, have you seen Blake lately? No. Why? Well, since I haven't seen her today. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, at least she didn't run away in a blizzard this time. <laughs> Do you want me to make some calls? No, no. That's okay. You know Blake, so... I guess I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye. Where the hell have you been for the past 24 hours? I don't need this. Oh, no. Not this time. You are not running out on me again. Every time you get upset with me, you run away. And that is going to stop. Fine. Stop making me mad. You are being unreasonable. I'm feeling Blake. unreasonable, Ross. You bought a $20,000 engagement ring for my mother. And you had every reason to ask me about it, but... $20,000, Ross. Forget the money, okay? Now, I know that you are hurt because... Oh, it... don't tell me why I'm hurt. You are hurt because you found this ring and you thought it was for you until you read the inscription. <laughs> and I loved reading that one. So why did you? I was looking for something, Ross. I told you, I came across the ring. What was I supposed to do? Pretend I didn't see it? Oh. All right, come on, Blake. Sit up. I'm comfortable this way. No, 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 no. Come on. It's distracting you lying there that way. <laughs> I can't believe it. The man's actually distracted. I want to discuss the matter at hand. You want to discuss the matter at hand? Do you know what you sound like? You sound like a lawyer. I am a lawyer. Not in our bedroom, you're not. You're my lover. And I want you to be totally crazed because I didn't come home last night. I was very concerned. Oh, you were very concerned. You make me sound like I'm an insurance form you forgot to file. I, on the other hand, was absolutely crazed. So why didn't you come home and we could talk about it? That's all we do is talk, Ross. Calm, rational, lawyerly talk until I'm ready to throw up. Damn it, Blake. You know I was terrified the night that you disappeared in the blizzard. You know that. I thought something terrible had happened to you. Come on, look at me. Why do you do things like this? A psychiatrist might say it was my feeble attempt to get your attention. Well, you certainly have it now. Just once, Ross. Just once. I'd like to see you completely lose control. For me to be so infuriating or captivating or just so damn sexy that I knock your socks off. Ah, there they are. Just where they belong. And they always match, too. What, Blake. am I boring you? No, no, my no, time no, 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 Blake. I was invited to Billy Lewis's bachelor party. Well, okay, go I should call then. Him and no, I want to stay here and I want to work this well, out. I don't want you to. I want you to go. I know you think I overreact, Ross. But sometimes I don't think you react enough. Like sometimes you're just a bloodless, pompous poop. You're always so calm, so reasonable. Well, I'm not, Ross. I'm not calm. I'm not reasonable. I am who I am. That's the package, counselor. Take it or leave it. I'm sorry, Ross. I don't know why I do this. What's wrong with me? I'm such an idiot sometimes. I know I should be more mature. And I can be. Cool. Sophisticated. I can be Grace Kelly. If that's what you want, I'll... I can be Grace Kelly. I can. Just watch me. Hampton. <laughs> 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 Yo, what's up, bro? How are you? I hope I'm not too late. No, man. The guest honor hadn't even showed up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, good. I'm going to grab a bite to you. Look, see you later. Help open up, bro. I made it. Said so, you hear from us? Ah, yes, I heard from Blake loudly and clearly. I don't want to know, huh? You know, in this relationship, there is just no in-between. Frankly, I find it hard to imagine that uh, Blake and I are going to grow old together. Hey, you're already halfway there, buddy. <laughs> Anybody else? It's not the...
So Ross, aside from the free food and the free drinks, what are you doing here? What? Ross, go home. Well, I already called home, and uh, Dwight's not there. First, where's the walk away? Oh, I'm going to catch the garter up my way. <laughs> I think I'm going to have another three feet of hoagie. Thank you very much. Oh, what a guy. What a man's man. Three feet of me. Ah, uh, Ed, what the hell am I going to do? Huh? Sometimes I think I should just stop analyzing everything and just do it. Just get married. But Blake is so impulsive. Yeah. Impetuous. Yeah. And that's okay, because, you know, that's part of the reason I fell in love with her, but I have had such a structured life that I, I have a hard time imagining myself being married to a woman who's capable of doing absolutely anything. Thank mm -hmm. you.